character reference and style reference in Midjourney for Architecture. Character reference. This function is mostly used for people characters. You can use images as character references in your prompt to create images of the same character in different situations. However, it can also be used to maintain consistency in architectural generation. For example, using the same prompt but without character reference. The architectural styles vary significantly from the last one, another example of using character reference. It's the same process as using a style reference. Just paste the reference image link at the end of the prompt, followed by the parameter. If you're aiming for consistent outputs across multiple generations, the mid-journey seed parameter can help you achieve this result. First, we need to get the seed number. To do this, find the seed number of a job in Discord by reacting with an envelope emoji to that job. Then, click on the mid-journey bot in the left bar. The bot will send you a message with the job ID and seed number. Copy the seed number, go back to our server, and paste it after your prompt. For example, if you want a similar architecture but on a grassland, then the new environment in the prompt along with the seed number. You can see that the results feature buildings of a similar shape, but now set in a grassland environment. Let's make another test. I'll change the interior lights of the building and also add the parameter seed number. Then I got four buildings with a similar shape to the seed, but with red lighting inside in a dim environment. In contrast, when I used the same prompt without the seed, the generated buildings were in a different style than the reference. Here is another example showing the results with and without the seed parameter. Style reference. You can use images as style references in your prompt to influence the style or aesthetic of images you want Midjourney to make. It's very useful for applying specific textures to architectural facades or interior walls. For example, I copy the image address for this texture and add the address after the prompt for the museum, along with the SREF parameter. The generated architecture then has applied the texture to the facade. We can also upload an image from the local drive by clicking on the plus upload file button. Press return. After selecting the image, click on it, right click to copy the image address, and then proceed with the same steps as before. The four generated museum images all apply the brick texture that I just uploaded. You can also provide an environment as a reference. For example, I choose a cyberpunk street scene and refer to it for the museum again. You can see the newly generated museums are set in a dark cyberpunk environment. We can also use an exterior building reference to generate a matching interior style. Additionally, we can create a matching landscape style for the architecture. Another example of using an exterior building as a reference to generate a matching style interior. If you're interested in learning more about AI and architecture, check out our lecture, Mastering Architecture with Midjourney. It provides an in-depth explanation of advanced techniques in Midjourney. In this course, I will guide you through using Midjourney AI for architecture, landscape design, and interior design, step by step, from beginner to advanced levels. You will learn how to set up Midjourney, use basic commands, and explore parameters with practical applications in architectural design. Each factor of the architecture design prompt formula will be explained step by step to help generate accurate outputs from Midjourney. Additionally, formulas for landscape design and interior design will be covered. Sketch to rendering techniques and the integration of AI into existing workflows will also be included. Enroll now to master AI for your architecture projects and receive the continually updated Architecture Mid-Journey Prompts Guidebook, valued at $35.